What's up, guys? It's your boy, Sarar. And what I've got right next to me here is a $100 fishing mystery box that was put together by the owner of Big Bass Dreams himself, Oliver Nye. I was super, super excited to get my hands on one of these. Oliver didn't make very many, but he was offering them out on his social media for 100 bucks. It has $200 worth of product in here. So I figured I'd open it up with you guys and we could take a look at what a mystery box worth $200 actually looks like. The other thing I would love to do as well is actually take some of these baits out and see if we can't catch some fish on some baits we found in the mystery box. Oh my goodness. Take a look at this, guys. I don't want to bend it too far forward because I don't want to dump everything out of here, but oh my gosh, there are some fantastic looking baits in here. The first thing that definitely caught my eye in looking at this mystery box was definitely this jerk bait right here. Now, I don't know how well focused this is, but this is the Mega Bass 110 Plus 2. Now, I've actually had the pleasure of fishing this bait before, and I can already tell you it catches fish. This color is fantastic. It's got a little blue in there, a little green, and it's got clear. It's really good for clear water. And this bill, this bill is so big, that thing is going to dive down there. So what a, what a fantastic start. I don't even need to look at the rest of the box. I'm already done. Ooh, all right. We got a bit of a mid-diving crankbait. The bill on it says eight feet, so I'm assuming it's an eight-foot diver. But a very nice color, kind of a Tennessee shad-style color. I really like this. I actually don't know what brand this is. I'm going to see if I can find the brand for you guys and get it back to you on that. I love the eye design though. Kind of the teardrop eye design is really, really cool. But I do love this bait because it's a pretty small profile for being an eight foot diving bait. I'm honestly very, very surprised by that. But I do like this. It's a very good size, especially for the lakes around here for the size of the shad. All right, guys, let's see what else we got in here. Ooh, okay. So this is a 13 Fishing SC Amp 70. I, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't think I've ever seen this bait before. That is a beautiful looking bait. Absolutely beautiful. I love the dark color. It's very threadfin shad like. And it's also got this black bill, which is very unique. I haven't seen a lot of black bills before on baits. The hooks are very nice, very sharp hooks on these. And just overall, such a good threadfin shad color. Three to five foot, obviously, pretty typical for a square bill, especially of this size. I love this bait too. Dang, I didn't know Oliver was going to be out here hooking it up with some phenomenal baits i mean i guess i should have figured it. the guy's a fishing maniac he knows what he's doing oh my gosh now this this is a big jerk bait but again same awesome color this is the mega bass 110 max now this is a little bit shallower bait obviously the bill is definitely not as big but still this bait Again, color, color that Mega Bass has on these is just phenomenal. I, I've always loved the Mega Bass color schemes. And this, this is really cool. Now, the nice thing about a bait this big is honestly, there is a lot better chance of getting a double hookup on these, especially if you get around the schooling fish. I'm very interested to try this out around the fall. Would love to have this like, a month or two ago it would it would have been crazy Ooh, all right we're switching up to something a little bit smaller and i actually really like that so this is the mega bass super z z2 now this is a definitely a smaller bait it's definitely a smaller type of bait it's only about two two inches in length but Oh my goodness, this color scheme, I know you guys probably can't see the detail, at least in this camera on it, but it reminds me a lot of like the little rock bass and also the little freshwater gobies that are in the water. 
size, shape, and color to this is awesome for that. So the nice thing I like so far about what Oliver's come up with here is that it's pretty similar style baits. They have a lot of the same applications, but they're definitely meant to mimic different things. So I'm, I'm loving this box. Oliver, if you do watch this, I want you to know I love this box and thank you. And we got another little bit deeper diving crankbait than the one we looked at earlier, but same manufacturer as you can see with that teardrop eyeball. Uh, same manufacturer, this one says 12 feet on it, so it does go a little bit deeper, but it's got that nice brown and beige tints to it. So this is going to be something that mimics much more of a crawfish, something that's a bottom feeder. Oh boy, there's some, there's some more baits at the bottom too, but let's go through the ones that are actually packaged baits. Oh, these are a little bit gooey. I got the gooey baits. But these are phenomenal. I got the bottle shrimps. Now, the bottle shrimps are pretty big trailers. Or they don't, they don't need to be trailers. You could even just throw that on a Texas rig and call it good. But it has two very big craws that protrude out. Let me see if I can show you the style of this bait. Look how long those craws are. Those craws are massive. But honestly, in the black and blue, that's perfect for jigs. One of my favorite jig colors. And those craws are just going to have so much action going through the water. It's phenomenal. I want to throw that on a Texas rig right now. Ooh. Now these, these, are, these I'm really excited about. So these are the X zone Nico Ned zones. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for these baits. Uh, if any of you guys know me, I love finesse fishing. That's how I started. That's my bread and butter. It's my go to when the bike gets tough. And these baits, oh my goodness, these baits look fantastic. I mean, a little bit of a bulbousy tail, ribbed, but basically one same size. And it's about four inches long. Th this is a perfect uh, Nico rig bait. And Nico rig's one of my favorite finesse baits. I'm definitely going to use these on a Nico, especially up here during the winter. You know, all those spotted bass are going to be all over this thing. Ooh, look at that. We got some more Nico Ned zones. Same size, same, uh, same size, same bait, but. This is going to be in the green pumpkin blue flake. So these, I believe, are the normal. These are the blue, green pumpkin black flakes, and we also have green pumpkin blue flakes. That blue flake just gives it a little bit more. I really like it. It just gives it that little extra flash that might get those fish to commit to it. Ooh, awesome. It looks like we've got the same type of bait here, just a couple different sizes, a couple different colors. But this, oh God, I feel like I'm going to mess up this name and everybody's going to laugh at me in the comments. So I feel like it could be Hazadong Shad. I feel like it could be Hazadong Shad. I'm, I'm going to have to go research that one. But this is the Go Shad color. It's a very clear color. That's a clear water bait for sure. But honestly, I've got a couple ideas for this. Obviously, I can throw it on a little tiny underspin head, and it's probably going to work wonders. I do have a couple other special ideas, though, that I might have to show you guys in a later video. And then we also have it in the Morocco. It's a little bit different color. It's a little bit more traditional shad color, that uh, black and clear, black and white that people are accustomed to seeing. And it's also a 4.2 inch as opposed to the ghost shad, which are only three inch bait. These would be very good on a typical jig head or an underspin head. Love these colors. I love the colors, the sizes. And we got to end it with another Mega Bass Classic, a bait that I've used before and I've seen all over the place is going to be the Spark Shads. I believe this is similar to a Ghost Minnow type color, but it is basically an all white bait and such a great style bait especially for this time of the year all these baits are going to be working this time of the year 
And that's, I think, what I love so much about this. I can fish any one of these baits, spring, summer, fall, and even winter for a lot of these plastics. Oh, there's a couple more baits down in here. Look at that. So this is actually really cool because I've actually been wanting to buy one of these and I haven't gotten around to doing so. But this is going to be one of those dead of winter or really tough day kind of baits that's just going to put fish in the boat. Again, I don't know the exact brand of this, but this is what they call a spy bait. It's got a propeller on the front and it's got a propeller on the end. And this bait will just sink down and you can fish it in any depth range. That's what makes the spy bait such a cool bait is you can fish it through any depth range that you want. If you can find those fish on bait in the middle of the water column, this bait's going to fish it perfectly. And I love how small this profile is too. It's a very small bait, which is rare to find in these spy baits. All right, so I believe actually that is a Mega Bass Spy Bait. I don't know what the name of it is. Um, I will try and put links to a lot of this, or at least the names of a lot of this in the description to help you guys out. Now, this is the Mega Bass Vibration X. Now, this obviously, as I can tell, is a lipless crankbait. It has a pretty nice rattle. Too. It's a pretty high pitch rattle, which is nice, but I love the size. I love the design. I think it's a very cool color too. Just that bright neon color in that dirty water situation, just burning it through grass or burning it around riprap. I think this could be a killer bait to have around. When last but not least in this box, this is the Mega Bass deep x 100 and again here we have another very small style bait small style crankbait it's gonna mimic those smaller bait fish it's gonna mimic those little freshwater gobies it's it's a perfect all-around bait for bait fish it has a pretty similar color to the jerk baits as well kind of that dark top with that clear bottom and this one actually has a bit of purple on the tail as well looks like it dies down to about you know five or six feet maybe but again ju just another phenomenal bait again i do want to give a shout out to oliver thank you for the opportunity at the hundred dollar mystery box i can confirm just knowing prices off the top of my head that that is for sure a 200 dollar value box it it's amazing. I mean, every one of those baits, I guarantee you catches fish year round. But you know, I'm honestly very, very excited to go out and use some of these baits. So I think what I'm going to do is make a part two video to this where I actually go out with all of the mystery box items and we see if we can't go out and catch fish on all of them might be a little bit tough because I think I am going to be going from shore, but you know what? We'll see how it goes. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is a little bit different than what you guys are used to, not me sitting at my desk, but I would love to start recording some more fishing content like this. And I have some more fishing content ideas on the way. So be sure to sub to the channel if you enjoy. Be on the lookout for part two to this video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.